albatrosses use wind to travel hundreds of thousands of miles in search of food. They draw energy from the wind shear layer to fly efficiently. We've tracked albatrosses from South Georgia to understand how they behave at sea. Biologging devices can tell us about their movements, their behaviour, and even their eating habits. We can then use this information to understand how albatrosses, as well as other marine species, respond to their environment. As the world's climate changes, severe storms will become more common in many parts of the globe. To understand how species will be affected, we can look at their behaviour in the extremes of weather which will become more common. Here we can see how albatrosses behaved when caught up in a violent southern ocean storm. We found that, while albatrosses benefited from moderately strong winds, they struggled to find food when weather became too stormy. Heavy rain, or low visibility in the water column, also had a negative impact on their ability to find food depending on the species and their foraging ecology. The wandering albatross is the largest flying bird in the world, with a wingspan up to three and a half meters. They are so large that they can't take off if conditions are too calm. Despite this affinity for wind, our research shows how they land and take off repeatedly when the wind gets very strong. This likely means that they need to avoid the mechanical strain put on their wings in these conditions. Albatrosses haven't been considered at risk to more widespread storms because they benefit from wind. We show an upper limit to this benefit. When winds get too strong, albatrosses struggle to find food and may even need to shelter on the water between the waves. Thank you for watching.